Greetings everyone, what's up? It's me again, Tim Prime. Welcome with another video review if you are, well, an unboxing video actually. And in this video, we're going to be unboxing, let me zoom back a wee bit, there we go, 0.7x. I'm not too much of a fan of the number 6. In this unboxing video, we're going to be checking out what's inside of the box. What is inside the box? Um, according to USPS, they tried to deliver this yesterday, and despite the fact it was Veterans Day, it was Veterans Day yesterday, um, yeah. How could they attempt to deliver it and not be able to get to my place whenever my place is very easy to access? Right. It doesn't make any sense, does it? Nope. And to see this unboxing video, I have man here, my little girl. There new, sweetie. Hello, hello. Okay, now, so, we ready to... Check out what's inside the packaging. I ordered, I pre ordered this figure a while back, <laughs> and I'll say this I was surprised to see that it was in stock. Like, it, right, well, I, I was very much surprised because, like, I expected it to be a little while longer before this guy would get back to again start. But as soon as I found out he was on pre order on TF Source, and I believe they got big bad toys, so I decided to go ahead and buy up on TF Source because TF Source has that. Area of where when you pre order things, they legitimately take the money out of your account while it's for a big bad toy store. Positive and negative area. Once you pre order something, you don't have to pay for it because that's the bad area. Because I will admit it, like it's a good thing and a bad thing at the same time because you don't know when the album's going to come on in and how much money is going to be drained out of your account. <laughs> so, yeah, let's go ahead and try to try to take a quick look into the packaging. And I will say this this is my, my attempt to. Try something different, try something new, and especially with this new tripod, well, with this gorilla pod of mine, this will definitely be able to give me a bit more height in my videos. Opening up the box, and yes, the box is upside down for all reasons, due to my address. Bring out the little, bring out the paper right here, I'll put, I'll put this away later on. Sure. Right over there. And we have the bubble, the wrap of bubble, the wrap of bubble. And we have a box right here, a box. Here we go, so we're just going to put this right, right there, I'll take care of that in a second. Now, what is in the box? I'm going to be placing that on the Transformers Addicts relatively soon. What is inside of here? If you haven't guessed already, uh, I don't know if you guys can guess from this picture, from, from what you are seeing right there. Uh, kind of poorly wrapped ish, but it is leader class Galvatron, a weapon Ultra Magnus, and every other Autobot until the Matrix has been destroyed. Voiced by Lena Nimoy back in the Gen 1 movie, and I must say, I am very much impressed. I am loving this right here. I, I will say this, like, with the entire kingdom, um, the entirety of the kingdom box cover right here, this is beautiful box art right here. I love how, how they did this. I love this right here. They did a fantastic job. This is why I'm questioning why I didn't go into art class, why, why I didn't get an associate in arts degree. Oh, well, I guess I just, well, I just wanted to become a director back in the day. But that didn't pan out, but I'm glad it didn't pan out. I don't think I'd be able to handle it. Let's go ahead and open up Galvatron. Open up Galvatron real fast. Open up, open up real fast. There we go. There we go. Bring this on out. Bring it on out. There we go. And here it is. Galvatron and it's Galvatroniness. Galvatroniness, I'd say it. And you can definitely tell like uh, he has quite a few accessories on him. And here are the instructions and um I think some warning stuff. But yeah, really great. I love the detailing on this right here. And Hasbro was definitely right. They were definitely getting rid of like I definitely know that they were getting rid of the whole plastic stuff in here. But I would if I was them, I would go back probably to the, the paper zip ties. Just so that way, like when you throw them away, they're biodegradable or something. I'm not fully for sure though. Yeah, as we all know, like all these guys come with like the back right here. Got to just cut this one open. Am 
My little girl, she's just messing around with the blanket, aren't you? And you're sucking on your little pacifier. You're just sucking your pacifier. <laughs> yeah, well, one way to help keep her calm, and sometimes, sometimes, this is a give her a pacifier. There we go. No, I mean, I think they could have made his a little bit longer, dude. I think they could have made his little a little bit longer, and that fell back right there. Let's try to put this piece right back here. But I love, I love the box, the the box art on this thing. Also on this side right here, the box. Um, you, holy cow, it's really amazing. Cheetor, Rat Trap, Optimus Primal, Optimus Prime, Bumblebee. Uh, oh, for Pete's sakes, uh, Tigertron. And you know, RC, RC back there. You also see Dinobot, the, oh, Rhinox, I about to say the R, Rhinox. Black Arachnia, Megatron, Galvatron, Unicron. I never really managed to get him. Why didn't they just release Unicron as a Titan class? That would have been awesome. Yeah. Look at my... <laughs> it's hard. It's... Uh, but it's see it, it, uh, The card that I got with, with Galvatron is Black Arachnia. Why don't they place cards in with these guys that match them? I don't get that at all. Like I've gotten quite a few of the same cards. Like it just doesn't it just doesn't make any sense. And also looking on the back of the card right here, you can see um like a right near and or in like a, a bit of a battle, battle, battle pose that I can't talk right now. But yeah. That's like pretty much like the entirety of the area right there. I'm gonna go ahead and snip. Snip come on. Unless of course if that's um well, that's that was well. That is a bit of a rubber band right there. We cut all of this off right here. Uh -oh. There we go. There's one of his weapons. Here's his cannon. Yeah, I definitely will be. I know I haven't been able to do much on video reviews for these guys just yet, but I do plan on doing those as soon as I can. Right in the knees, right in the knees. My friends would say, bust in the kneecaps. Whoops. Arm, shoulder, shoulder, and arm. And there we go, there we go. Go of a Tron! Excuse me. I still remember back in the day of whenever these guys were like in their vehicle modes in the box. But I'm loving the style they made for the Kingdom line. They definitely did a fantastic job. So if you all have enjoyed this unboxing right here, if you all have enjoyed this unboxing, go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to me and Richmaker, and also look for on TSOs and BigBadToysOl.com along with any of the websites that these guys can that these guys are sold on. And look for me on social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram, Discord, and so on. Until next one, I'm Tim Parmano. Be signing off right now. So peace out. And yeah, I know I talk fast, I need to talk slower. <laughs>